uh, just up ahead there, the river splits uh, one side. The side behind us right now just flows right through the mill. Uh, unmolested. This side, on the other hand, uh, is used to drive the uh, city mill in Winchester. Uh, obviously, a water power was very popular back in the day, and uh, the city of Winchester took full advantage of uh, the river that passed by the east side of the city. Move under underneath, here we can see the, uh, this is one of the sluice way that just lets water bypass the wheel, uh, obviously to uh, help control the level of the river. Uh, the river is also used for flood control. It used to pass through the middle of town, uh, but the Romans bypassed and you know, built this one to bypass it. There we have the wheel. Uh, it's the, in this case, the water flows under the wheel, pushing it along, uh, unlike the more common, again, popular over the top, uh, that we see this one is not as efficient, but takes uh, good use of the space available. It does still drive the uh, mechanism there well enough to generate um, all the flour the city needed for uh, the town needed for a long time. This here is that other side that passes through. We move upstairs, and that shaft there is being driven by the water wheel underneath. In this area, you can definitely feel the floor vibrating, and there's a good amount of noise. Uh, might be quite pick up. Uh, but the, uh, see the shaft is turning the wheel. Grain is feeding from a hopper, larger hopper up above, and the smaller hopper, and then be moved into the grinding wheel. And here we're leaving the mill, it's the exhaust end of the river, you could say. Uh, as it flows out, rejoins the other side where it had been split up above and on into town.